Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson. We have Roberto here with us today. And Roberto comes in here from being referred by his daughter. And uh, Roberto is a smart new patient. He brought his MRI in with him today. And he has three large bulge disc and herniated disc in his lower lumbar spine from L3 all the way down to L5-S1 which has caused him to have bilateral radiculopathy, which is leg pain and radicular pain from the lumbosacral nerves coming out of the lumbosacral spine region and sacroiliac region. Now, I've already done his orthopedic neurological test, but I'm going to show you a couple highlights. I'm going to have you close your eyes for me there, Roberto, and bend your head forward and backwards, please. I see that pulls when you go forward, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. That kinks up a little bit when you go backwards. Right. And see, his head's a little forward and off to the left. And then down here in his low back, he's translated to the left to center. He's got more room over here than he does over here. So, this being his very first adjustment, I'm going to adjust him on the biophysics table first. Let's go ahead and lay on your tummy for me there, Roberto. And you can rest your arms right there. Now, he's been to other chiropractors before. So this is not his first adjustment, but it's his first adjustment here. And I see his left leg is shorter by a half an inch. And this is significant. You see it gets longer when I bring it up, and that tightens up in your little back and your thighs, doesn't it, Roberto? Yes. Yep. So that's called a positive Noclus and a positive Deerfield test. I'm going to drop this lumbar piece out here and I'm going to adjust his left SI joint first. Yep. And then his right SI joint. And then his sacrum, which is the middle triangular shaped bone in the pelvis, straight superior to inferior on the Y axis pushing it directly away from L5, so that disc at L5-S1 will open up. Now I'm adjusting that as L5. These will be a little tender at first, Roberto. There's L4, yep. There's L3, L2, yep. There we go, keep breathing. Now, Roberto is coming in here basically kind of as a last resort before having to resort to surgery or more invasive procedures, right, Roberto? Correct. Legs are now even, and I bet you, Roberto, this feels easier than the last one did. Oh, yeah, much better. Already. Imagine that. I feel great, so can you. Okay, you're going to feel your head popping up a little bit on this one. See, when you're young, your mom used to keep your head on straight. Now I'm going to. There we go. Okay, let's turn you on your back now. Or at least that's what she told you, right? Mm -hmm. Kept your head on straight. Mm -hmm. Let me lift up for just a second. There we go. Okay. That's it. Yeah, you just relax like that. I'm going to bring your head up and back there okay now slide down this way a little bit yep just about an inch right there That's too far up about an inch. there you go now put your arms straight out to the sides palms facing up like this kind of like jesus on the cross there we go i'm adjusting your shoulders your clavicles up front here you know that pulling feeling you had in your upper back and your lower neck? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm realigning your entire upper extremities and cervical spine and chest. Okay, now once you relax your leg in my hand, put your hands on your tummy. And just let me have your leg. There you go. Now you should have felt that from your knee all the way up to your low back, Roberto. Yes, I did. Okay, good. Kind of just breathe and relax. There you go. Same thing there? Yes. Good deal. Okay, I'm going to help you up sideways, and let's face that way. Yep. There we go. Oh, I'm going to bring your leg over that way. And then we'll come up sideways, see? There you go. You know, that cramp in your legs is coming from the pinched nerves out of your lumbar spine. 
keep your chin up. That's one of the things I'm noticing. Okay, there's your right shoulder. Just let this go limp. Let me do all the work. There you go. Okay. I'm going to be adjusting you from head to toe, literally. There we go. So sore fingers. That one didn't pop before. No. <laughs> before now, you mean? Mm -hmm. That's the first time it's popped in a while? Yes. See, I'm getting them all. If it's got a joint, I'll get them adjusted. When I was younger, I used to smoke them now and adjust them. Okay, let's lay you on your back right here. Pelvis there, head up this way. Young head, this way? head up this way, but right here on your back. That's all right. Now this is the famous ring dinger your daughter told you about, and that you've seen me do on other videos. Roberto's spine is compressed for years, so this is a spinal decompression adjustment. There, slide down this way a little bit. A little bit down underneath that pin. Where your hips all the way underneath that. There you go. This is the first time you've had this done, isn't it, Roberto? Yes. There. Does that feel like you're in there tight enough? Oh, real tight. Okay, I want you to get away. <laughs> Just let your legs bend and relax naturally. This is how I want you to start sleeping at night with your legs elevated. So put your little clothes basket down, duct tape a pillow on top of it to bring your legs up parallel with the floor. Does that feel a little more relaxed in your back right now? Mm -hmm. Yep, that'll help your legs to keep from cramping too. Okay, I want you to keep your teeth closed together. Don't bite your tongue. Just breathe through your nose for me. Oh yeah. Yeah. I guarantee you, you felt that all the way down that lower back, didn't you? All the way to my back, yes. Yep, right down your toes, even. Yeah. I'm sure hoping that pin don't ever land on my toes. There you go. Okay, drop it in my hand. That's it. Wow, I pulled you so hard I pulled the plug out. Now you've been adjusted by other chiropractors. Is that is that different in your adjustments? Totally different. Did you feel more moved today in your structure? Oh yes. Okay, let's kind of get up sideways. So bring your legs over to the side and then push yourself up with your arm like that. Yep. Okay, let's stand right here in front of the mirror again. Okay. Now, we're going to have you close your eyes. Now, look at your feet right now. They're not flared out as badly as they were when you walked in. Mm -hmm. They're more straight ahead. Go ahead and point them both straight ahead for me. No, not together, just straight ahead. Toes point straight. A little bit more even. It'll feel weird up here. There. Okay, now let's have you close your eyes and bend your head forward and backwards again. Yeah, see, that's still a little kinked right there. Okay, so here's your homework. You're going to pull both shoulders up and back, like this, pull them back, no, up and back and hold them, hold those there, flare these guys way back here like that, see how that tightens all that up? Mm -hmm. Okay, now your head is forward and left, so we're going to bring it straight back this way, translate you a little to the right, now I want you to look at the wall behind you, all the way back, and feel a little tap there, keep your shoulders squeezed together for me. Another little tap there. Now relax. Okay, I just want you to bend your head forward and backwards again. And tell me if this feels any different to you than the previous ones. A little bit better. I still have a little pain in my right shoulder. Was it smoother though than the first ones? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, let me do this. I'm going to stretch out your trap here and I'm going to bounce the muscle spindle in your trapezius and later scapula muscles. See, you still are all the way down in here. Mm -hmm. Okay, try that again and see if that feels a little smoother this time. I still have that little pain. Yeah, same. Does that feel better on your neck movement, though? Oh, yes. How's your low back feel right now compared to when you walked oh, in the door, Roberto? Much better. 
And then this is a. Uh, it's been going on for how many years for you? More than five. More than five years. Yeah. So that's chronic condition. Those discs have gotten smaller, but they've been bulged outward, so they're pinching on those nerves down there. Does that feel better for you yes. right now? A lot better. Yep. So what did you think your very first ring dinger? Well, I felt the. What would you tell our YouTube fans around the world about your very first experience here at well, Advanced this, Chiropractic Relief? Actually, this is a lot of help. Of the less pain, for sure. Mm -hmm. Is it worth your while to come here? Oh yes, and I'll come back. And you're paying cash too, right? Correct. Was it worth the money? Yes, sir. Okay, great. Thank you for sharing your experience with everyone. Thank you. Yep. This is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, coming to you from Advanced Chiropractic Relief in Houston, Texas. Happy New Year. This is Tuesday, 2018, the 9th. We'll see y'all soon.